right, another example, lick number five, comes on the tune, I've been mistreated. One minute and 17 seconds in, the key of D. Tenth fret, Jimmy plays this. <laughs> Let's try that again. Alright. So uh, you see the theme of lick number five down low, playing in the low positions, right? On those the fat strings. Here we have a nice one. He starts off in a Typical positions, right? Lick number two. King thing, right? Or is that lick, lick number three? My mistake. King thing, right? Fourth bent up to fifth. Then he, then he plays. He picks fourth minor third root. Whoop. And then he goes back up. Minor third fourth. And this is a hammer-on. And you get that vibrato. And then he plays minor third root. Now it's 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 funny because you put minor third to root, then you do a hammer-on. Flat seven to root. Fourth, hammering on to fifth, and then back to the fourth. And you got this like cascading feel to it where he goes. He goes. Let's see, wait, wait. Oh, okay, okay. What it's more like, uh, they're gliss, like hammer ons. Where the, the lower note is hardly being heard. And it gives this cascading feel. So it's. Nice. That's a nice phrase. We haven't really dealt with anything like that yet. You get that feeling of falling further and further down, right? And he answers that with... That's minor third. Fourth slid up to the fifth. Flat seven. Root... Root, minor third, root, pull off to the flat seven. You can easily, like, think of the timing. But you got the minor third. Okay, again. Then on this, so we got that lick number three again, the king thing. This is textbook. He just bends up to the from fourth to fifth. Brings it down and releases with a pull off. So it's. Right, so you got your fifth, your fourth, pull off minor third. Okay? And then you hit the root. And then you play root again, minor third, pull off. From the root to the flat seven. That 
that's the second part there where you just do it again. The king thing, lick number three. With two roots at the end. So it's like question and answer, right? You go. Again. And then you do it, the last part. Okay, so you put them together. Again. All right, so that's the whole thing. What I find what's interesting is when you do this part, this, this, that, uh, that second one on the downbeat, okay, so that second root is on the downbeat, which is, I've talked about it in other videos, the picking is down for those three, up on the that root, and then the second one down on the root. I'm playing minor third down, pick coming up, root pull off. All right, so let me see where he goes. He just, I don't think there's vibrato in the beginning. He just bends it up. There's vibrato on that one. again. All right. A lot of energy to that. A lot of, a lot of electricity, right? All right. So I'll tell you, it's exhausting. It pulls a lot out of you. That's why you not only got to build up your, your techniques Right, but you gotta build up like your your stamina, like your physical. I feel exhausted sometimes after trying to play it multiple times in a row with that intensity. You know, it's just I guess if you're on the bandstand and you're playing in a band night in and night out, you you build that up too. You know, which is part of it. But okay, so playing in your room, woodshed, and practicing these things is one thing. But then when you jam it with your buddies or your friends or in your band, professionally, whatever you're doing, <clears throat> that hits a whole nother level, you know. Got to build up the muscle and the endurance. All right. So we'll move on to the next one. We got another good one coming up.